our accommodation in Norway, filming the Loch Ness episode, probably one of the most bizarre places we've experienced. It was a hotel with no visible staff whatsoever. Nobody seemed to be there. It was deserted apart from us. Uh, we couldn't even find the keys when we first went there. Eventually found them. There was a telephone number which you could ring, uh, which nobody answered. Being Norway, so far north, it's actually quite light through the night. Plus we see the northern lights there. So it's quite a, you know, you end up sort of quite disjointed from the world, really, staying in this strange place and then spending up to, I don't know, 11, 12 hours at a stretch on the water. What was quite nice about that, our captain was a very good cook. He would rustle up really nice meals on this tiny little stove somewhere below the decks and appear. I'm more used to the tropics, really. Um, I'm used to dealing with heat. Dealing with cold is something I'm not so good at. I think I had something like eight layers of clothing on and even then I was cold and I actually just had to spend all my time on the deck because I'm looking at three or four rod tips I'm trying to see just the slightest movement of one that might be the signal that something's on the bait there were times when it was so cold that it was hard to speak your face would actually become semi-frozen so when I've got to say something to the camera. Right, we're now running for shore because it's just impossible to fish in this water. I'm amazed I got anything out at all, but sometimes it's so very, very challenging from the temperature point of view.